it's been heavy, dude. It's been it's been emotional. I wasn't really expecting today to be emotional. I guess I I, I thought about it, the fact that it could be. I just kind of hit me a little harder than I thought. So it wasn't the plan to make Stephen cry. <laughs> I didn't know they were going to ask, you know, like, let's have a mini tribute to Stephen. Um, it was genuine and spontaneous, and sometimes those are the best ways to get, you know, visceral kind of human, uh, human actions and emotions. So as you say goodbye to uh, the show and the character and um, just everything, uh, what do you really want to have happen next season? What what would help kind of conclude things for you and for your character? Well, um, for the character, there's some things that have that will probably be answered, right? His relationship with Lila. Lila plays a pivotal role in this season. And um, she's the leader of Argus, so we have to kind of address that. His two sons in the future, where's Diggle? And what went on with what's going on with his children? I think that's important. Is he or is he not Green Lantern? I think that's important. So I think those three things will be addressed in the 10 episodes. So you will get an answer. It's a lot in 10 episodes. It is. That's why every episode is like a mini movie. Mm -hmm. and, and you sense when, when, when you're doing a 22 episode season where they're kind of working on the C story or D story. It's not quite, it's not quite where they left off. And it's kind of not an episode, they're not taking an episode off, but it's just going in a different direction. There's none of that for these 10 episodes. Yeah, I was going to ask if there's a kind of substantial difference in. in yeah, sort of, we, sort we're getting to the point like yeah. in, in, in simple terms. And I think uh, just in terms, that's in terms of John Digger. And um, for, is there any, I think your question was, uh, what do I expect for, my, for yeah, John Digger? Yeah, what would myself? help you kind of conclude things? Um, and just for myself, I don't know. You know, I, I look back on television. I grew up with like Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno and The Incredible Hulk. Right? Mm -hmm. So I just remember being vastly entertained and entrenched in the drama of the show. Mm -hmm. I was entertained. And hopefully that's what, you know, people look back and, you know, and, and they're entertained by what we did for these eight seasons. You know, and some of that's the writing, some of it's the acting, and some of it's just the intangible, you know, like, like OTA or anything else that is like, how did that happen? Just magic. You know? mm -hmm. um, so hopefully people are still touched by this 10 years from now. So what can you tell us about the role Diggle might play in the crossover? Or that you may... Well, not much. I can I can tell you that he's, he remains by Oliver's side. Uh, which is where he probably should always be. And, um, you know, he's Spock to his crowd. So he, he remains there. And, um, but I can't, there, there's some things that I just found out that I haven't quite that I haven't quite uh, put in my head how to lie to you <laughs> without, and how to spin it yet, how, how to make a lie, how to make the shit smell a little good, like perfume. They don't like prep you with that and go, Well, well they, they, they usually do, but I just found out. Like, like, oh, wow. like we just, like, I just found out what happens, like, ultimately to Diggle in the crossover, like, we just found out. So, wow. You know, when you have Mark here, you just kind of grill him, and he's like, "Well, here's what happens." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wow. So I, I haven't, you know, usually that happens. Honestly, that happens a lot of times at the beginning of the season because mm -hmm. they really do have an overarching. They know exactly what's going to happen at the beginning and the end, and it happens. And they even talk about things at the beginning of the season, but we didn't. You know, we just kind of first time I really talked to him uh, this season. So. Um, Nope, oh, not much I can tell you about it besides he remains with Oliver side. Well, for that, just that teaser, what do you think fans are going, like, what do you think their reaction is going to be when we do find out that the information that you just, like, are they going to be, like, shocked? Like, what do you think the reception oh, I see. might be? Um, yeah, oh, yeah. They're, it's a five show crossover. They're going to be shocked. <laughs> Without a doubt. They're going to be shocked. Yeah. Um, and I think, there, I think some questions won't be answered. So this isn't this isn't a situation where every single loose end has been tied up into a nice bow. Um, I think some of those questions about Diggle I think are important to answer. But no, not every answer will be there. But um, 
I think everyone will be satisfied with the finale. Not just the crossover, but the finale. Mm -hmm. And do you think uh, Diggle will have his traditional brush with super speed, or, or have we <laughs> kind of reached yeah, the end of that? Well, I, I don't know if it's going to be super speed, but I think he's going to have something to say with the monitor, about the monitor. Mm. I mean, the monitor is unlike any superhero that, that he's, he's been in contact with. So there'll be a response to that, to some degree. Is there a hero? Is there a hero in the uh, crossover that you're booking that you haven't had a chance to interact with? You're like, really, I'd love to work with this well, person. You know, something I don't know so much of the crossover. I would just love personally. I would love to see Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. I always would love to see Bruce. I, Batman's great, but I, I want to see Bruce Wayne. I want to. I want to see what that's all about. Now, I don't know if he'll be in the crossover or not. But me personally, I want to see. It. Mm -hmm. yeah.